Part of compliance with HGMO 105 requires you to have a hand hygiene policy. Hand hygiene plays an important role in the prevention of cross infection. Training should be provided to staff periodically throughout the year. Hand hygiene can be performed in two ways, one by washing your hands, the second by using an antimicrobial hand rub that conforms to BS EN 1500. Hand washing should be performed at least at the beginning and end of every session, if hands are visibly soiled, if hands become sticky with the build-up of hand rub residue and after visiting the bathroom. Hand hygiene should be performed before and after every new patient contact, before and after the removal of gloves and other PPE, after the washing of dental instruments, before contact with instruments that have been sterilised, whether unwrapped or pouched, and at the completion of any other decontamination work. A separate dedicated hand wash basin should be provided in areas where clinical practice takes place and also where decontamination takes place if this is a separate room. The basin should not have a plug or overflow and the U-bend should not be directly under the plug. A mixer tap should be used and be either sensor operated or lever operated. The tap should not charge directly into the drain as this may cause aerosols to be generated. Wall mounted dispensers with disposable cartridges should be used. The nozzle should be kept clean. Refillable containers should not be used as bacteria can multiply within these products and present a potential source of contamination. Hand washing techniques are provided in HTMO 105 by the National Patient Safety Agency. Use your elbow to turn on the tap. Wet your hands with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub your hands palm to palm. Place the back of one of your hands with fingers overlaced and then repeat with the opposite hand. Rub palm to palm with your fingers interlaced. Rub the backs of your fingers with opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotationally rub each thumb clasped in the opposite palm, then repeat with your opposite hand. Rub your fingertips rotationally backwards and forwards in one palm, then repeat with the opposite palm. Rub each wrist with the opposite hand. Rinse your hands. Use your elbow to turn off the tap. Dry your hands thoroughly with a single use towel. Here we demonstrate how to perform hand hygiene. Apply an antimicrobial hand rub enough to cover all hand surfaces. Rub your hands palm to palm. Place the back of one of your hands with fingers overlaced and then repeat with the opposite hand. Rub palm to palm with your fingers interlaced. Rub the backs of your fingers with opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotationally rub each thumb clasped with the opposite palm and then repeat with the opposite hand. Rub your fingers rotationally backwards and forwards in one palm, then repeat with the opposite palm. Rub each wrist with the opposite hand. Allow your hands to dry. Additional requirements of hand hygiene policies are Bar soap and nail brushes must not be used. Hand cream. This should ideally be water-based and wall-mounted. Communal jars should be avoided as they pose a risk of contamination. Fingernails should be kept clean, short and smooth. Fingernails should be free from nail varnish and or false nails. No jewellery should be worn when undertaking clinical procedures. All jewellery should be removed prior to hand hygiene. Wedding rings should ideally be removed as well, however, if you can wash and dry the skin beneath, they are permitted. Nails should be cleaned using a blunt orange stick. Remember that you need to have a documented hand hygiene policy to comply with the HTMO 105 guidelines. If you have any questions on this movie or this particular section of the website, then you can contact the Isofarm Compliance Helpline on 0800 840 0105. Don't forget you can also visit our website for online training and verifiable CPD.